Hey Magic Media on YouTube, T1 Glistrolf here. I'm going to be playing in the FNM at Home, the Singleton event. So it is standard and it is Singleton. This is in Brawl. And uh, all we have to do is get two wins to get a couple extra cards and an FNM promo pack with two cosmetic items to get, you know, at my, I can share that with my store. Cool, fair enough. But uh, right now, let's jump in with uh, Is It Control? So this is just very simply, I get to play Crackling Drake some more. That's it, that's what I care for. So uh, one Ops, Terramander, Sleep of the Dead. I'll just go through these real quick. You can, you can see what you're up to. You can see what we're up to here. And as usual, pause, 1080p, those are your friends. Just going through. Some of these choices are, I'm sure, questionable, like Pyrohelix. Not sure how useful that's going to be in a singleton format where the curve shouldn't be as low, I would think. I would think. All right. And as you can see, there is definitely a slant towards blue, and the land base will reflect that as well. All right, so it's Healy, Wii, Dragonauts, just in case. You know, you never know. You might get a combo kill. All right. Playing both my Rouse and my Niv. And then we get into the lands. So good old Castle of Antris, Island Mystic, Five Mountains. Yeah. I think this looks solid. I think this looks okay. It's it's fun. <laughs> For just something silly like this, it's fun, I suppose. Alright. And then today's games brought to you by um, 30 ounces of green tea, matcha tea. Hmm. Down just a mite on my end. That way I can still hear it, but I can cut that out easily enough. Alexicos. I'm seeing all these names that I just barely don't remember. Maybe I've seen you before? Alright. Yeah, we'll keep. It's a bit of a drag having to do this here, but we'll have the Sanctuary come in first. Because you have to have three islands in order for it to come in untapped. Hi, Curry. Well, well. All right. Start off with a research. Try to get that ball rolling as quickly as we can. So research does a lot of things, but what we care about is that it's going to let us draw a ton of cards. Try to uh, filter through our deck to find. Well, in this case, land would be nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Row, row, raggy. It's also the only card without X in the cost in our deck that can deal 5 damage. Um, well, okay, that's wrong. Beacon Bolt. But that's kind of an X. Not really, but, you know, kind of. Uh, we need to find a land. I think now is probably the time for Shimmer. We really need to find a land here. Okay, there's Temple, there's Castle. Probably better to get Temple, I would think. Alright, so we'll add that to our field. Please be another land. Please be another land. That's another land. Okay, that's fine. I think that we can live through this. Next turn, play God Eternal Kefnat as a... well... or we could start going on the bird play. Oh, god. Jeez. Okay, that's, that's a thing. Uh-oh. 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 All right, change of plans. Hmm. Where did my mountain go? Didn't I scry that to the top? Okay. Um, kill it with fire. Now. Oh, that's right, that's right. Robber, robber. That's right. Oops. Oops. Yeah, we're in trouble. Unless we can find, like, a flame sweep, we are in trouble here. This is a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh... This game's winner is... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna call it here. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We stumbled a bit. And I, I was not anticipating a lot of really low to the ground stuff in a singleton format, just because um, it's easier to run fewer higher curve cards generally in a format like standard, where you know you're you're needing to stall the game until you can get to them. You're not running four God Eternal Kefnets. You're not running. You know, well that's weird because that's four mana. I know what I'm trying to say, but it, I'm also tired, and <laughs> that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Alright, so we'll try this again. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, give him the hello. Yeah, there's a better example, niv Mizzet Parent. You can run four torch carriers, you can run four robbers, you can run four... Uh, the one that gets past defenders. But it's really hard to run more copies of Niv Mizzet. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try research again. All right. Not that we have anything to cast with it just yet. We can try to hold up negate and expansion. That would be interesting. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not ideal. Alright, so we can play a Terramander first, and then pass the turn and hold up Negate. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, can't, can't negate you. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and it's a cycling ability, so I can't counter that either. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I swear I should be doing less awfully than this. Should be. Maybe. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this again. Pass the turn. Okay. Doop. Then we take a bunch more. Yeesh, I might have to surveil just for the sake of surveilling. Right? Yeah, we'll see what else they do this turn, but if I have to, I mean, I'll do what I have to do. Alright, anything on main two? Yeah, let's just surveil. I could also negate my own spell. Hmm. Okay, I would like to have a blocker. Even if it's just for a short while. But I think I need to find removal. Radical idea. Okay, so we'll draw. See what we get. Alright. Now we can start... No, no. It's at two. It's not quite there. It's almost there. Almost! We can hold up radical idea. Although, that would get Blitz back down to one. Because it only counts the graveyard. This is definitely not playing to an axis that I'm built to beat. I'm gonna take... Yeah, I think that's game. That's game. You got me. You got me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wake up, wake up. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. I think this is decaf. Which is not what I'm looking for. Alright. Okay. Okay, 
I'm careful about rubbing my eye because I just touched onions. Unironically, I actually re really like green onion just by itself. So, uh, I don't know. It's really good for me. I used to not... Oh, jeez. Well, they go first. I'll keep it. I'll keep it, actually. It's fine. I'll keep it. They go first, I get more chances at it. I still have a spell that I can cast, so it'll be okay. Now, that'll keep me awake. Alright. Gilded Goose. Okay. Oh, of course. Right on... <laughs> now, had I been going first, at least we could kill this thing, but that's okay. Only two mana to work with so far. Ooh, Reclaimer. I dig it. That's a good co Aha, we got there. Alright. What do we kill first? I really would like to get the goose out of the way here so that we don't have to worry about its ramp. Even though, typically, the thing you do is you play the sprite dragon first. It just the oh hello oh yeah all right there we go that should do it all right you want to pop your food for I don't even know uh, giant growth okay doing that now why not hmm. So I'll actually play Elvish Reclaimer in Legacy Mono Green Infect. Every, on the very rare occasion that I play Mono Green Infect in Legacy. Simic all the way, but when you do, it's a creature that gets big enough on its own, it gets Ink Moth Nexus for you, it lets you play more crop rotation shenanigans. It's fun. It's fun. There was a deck back in Modern, I remember having seen, that put, um, let's see, it had Oko and Elvish Reclaimer in place of Glistener Elf and some, some of the pump spells. Alright. Now we start going for it. Oh, don't you Essence Scatter this. Please don't Essence Scatter it. This is what, Growth Spiral instead? Let's see what they have. Oh, okay, Omen. I can live with that. That's fine. Ooh, okay, that's not great. They found two cards that they liked. It's not what you want to see. Okay. So on the next turn, Outburst... Add a card to hand, probably. Hmm, okay. What do you have, opponent? All right, there's a growth spiral. Good. Good. Vantress. Uh-oh. That's not something I like to see. I'm not on land destruction this time. Hi, Uro. All right. Four cards. And that's counting Uro, so three. And they definitely have the mana, so, you know, when they get there, I'll be in trouble. Not if, when. Now I have to be a little careful about killing this little dude. I have to be a little bit careful about it now, don't I? Hmm. In that case, it should still be just one. Yeah, one land in the graveyard. In that case, I can work on developing my board. Well, actually no, this reclaimer is gonna fill their yard anyway. So I might as well do this now. They're going to get to cards in Graveyard naturally anyway. Alright. Three damage. Plus... Crap. Hmm. I'll take the Dragonfire and try to find another removal spell. Alright. Swing for two. That way I can try to exile Uro when it comes back. When it comes back. Alright. Let's see what you got. 
Oh, they can always just sack Omen, actually. So they, they have it ready, even if it takes till next turn. Anticipate. Okay. If they find a land that taps for green, they could cast it this turn. I would not be a happy camper, but they could. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Love this card. It's, it's in my deck as well for a reason. I... Pfft. That's the name of that card. Pfft. Okay, so we found another removal spell. Hmm. Let's try to make it a little bigger, draw a card. Did we? No, we did not. Okay. Did we? No. No, no, we did not. Alright, so I know I need to save that. Kaboom. And then pass turn. I'm trying to play patiently. In case it's not completely clear that I'm half asleep. <laughs> I'm trying. Force myself to stay awake for just a sec. It's okay. I've had a weird day today. So... Um, because she probably doesn't watch this far into the video, um... I was supposed to see Evangeline, uh, she didn't bring her, so here I am. So I had the greatest of days, I'm all over the place, but this is a good distraction, and, you know, that time has to be made up anyway, so I'll, I'll still get the same amount of time. That helps out. Yeah. Even if it's not on my terms, even if it's not when I would have chosen, I still get it eventually. Alright, so that's cool. Okay. There it goes. In my defense, it didn't give me the option until just then. My internet's being, uh, being a little bit slow. Just a little bit. Just a lot. Okay. Hmm. So we've hit them for one, two, three. We're going to skip a bit and go to five. Oh. oh, interesting. That doesn't work the way they... Okay, so... Kara's when a... <laughs> they didn't get the damage. Oh, boy. Um, Let's go for it. Shimmer. I, I can't. I have to do what it... I have to do what I have to do. So we're going to hit you here. I'm going to let my opponent draw a card, unfortunately. I'll play the Shimmer next turn and try to find another land. Because Bond sadly only gets instants and sorceries. Though that may be okay, actually, for what I'm trying to do. Thanks. That's cool. I try. Alright, please have caffeine. If not, just magically spawn caffeine in for me, please. Alright, two plus a card. Oh boy. Because they didn't put a stop on their upkeep to try to use Castle Vantress, it makes me think they still have some power play. That's... I mean, I guess that is five mana, so... If they want to do both this turn... I mean, the, not turn. Turn cycle, because it has flash. Okay. Do Shimmer first. Right? I don't know. Yeah, let's see if we can find another land. This is a Sorcery Speed Impulse. Well... This is okay. Let's fire it off here. Frilled Mystic. Ooh, boy. Well, I'm glad I got that out of the way on you, but... It's not great, so I can go Bond of Insight, get two removal spells. Let's see what the next draw gives me, but that'll give me a chance to go, so I can go Bond of Insight and Terramander if it gets countered. Well, Terramander either way. Um, but if it gets countered, I'll still have a creature. 
this is getting pretty close to just one mana adapting as well. Which is nice. Alright. Oh, they still have as many cards as we do. And a food token, so they're at a virtual 18. Not scrying yet, though. Uh oh. What is this? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We can live with that. Okay. I'm just doing it now for the sake of it. Why not? We're gonna play Borrower now. Hmm. Oh, to fairy, okay. After a thousand years, I'm getting the hang of this. Uh oh. I think we're just getting drowned in cards and card selection. Ooh. It's not great. It's not looking great for us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so this will resolve. Thank goodness. Alright, each player mills four. Okay. Alright, which ones do I get back? Scorching Dragonfire, for sure. And... Lava Coil? Alright. And play a Terramander. And yes, that, that number went from six to four, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll make it work. Alright. Yeah, not a threat yet. We don't need to phase it out just yet. Alright. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to spend both of these on Coatl. Yeah, because I can't even block and use this at instant speed. Man, these land pockets... Now, the deck only runs 21 lands, which might be too low. My hope was that with as much card selection as we have, we'd be okay. Ooh, fun. This isn't my first time being the hero. I'm actually just gonna call it here. I'm actually just... I'm afraid that's gonna do it. Alright. Because they'll have me on the next turn. I won't be able to stop both of them. And they can phase out my creature so it can't block. They could even, if they want to, they could phase out the creature and the creature token. Because I have the uh, zombie army. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I like my hair more like this. <laughs> Death Mango. Okay. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can make something happen. Come on, Jay. Come on, you can do this. Stay away. You have lots of card draw. You have no excuse. Don't take it. It's You love it, but don't take it. Alright. So we'll play Radical Idea first. Shimmer Possibility is kind of like cashing in a wild card. You need to know what you're cashing it in for first. Alright. So Radical Idea is an instant. We get to play it when we feel like it. Alright. Let this thing go. I swear, if they put a Witch's Oven here, and we just devolve into that. Okay. Cool. Alright. Um... Beacon Bolt just to kill it now? There we go. Okay. 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 It's a 2-2. Two -two. can live with that. If I need to, I can kill it now. I probably need to, before it gets out of control. Discard the field. Alright. 
3 damage to any target. Cool. Add Sahili. Alright. Looking not bad. Not terrible yet. Yet. Okay, that's not great. Hmm. <laughs> okay. But we can live. We can live with that. So, play this. Sahili. And then hold up glimpse. Today I craft my victory. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Now, that's a problem, because now these servo tokens don't really do anything when they attack. They'll lose one and then gain one, and I'll lose one. So that doesn't do much. Uh, but we can't actually cast the Crackling Drake yet. So I guess first we'll play Shimmer. Let's see. See what we get. Alright. Dragonfire. Oh, well, we already have Blitz and Lava Coil. I think we're okay to put that one down. See if we can find something a little more impactful. Okay, uh, and then we'll pass. Now, the way that Sahelis is worded, target artifact you control becomes a copy of another of another target or blah 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 blah. We're gonna turn into a crackling drake. That's the that's the short of it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes Erebos. Cause you're gonna put a vampire into play. And that vampire's gonna give you enough devotion. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Let's put a charge counter on you. Add one. Goes to two. Okay. Hmm. We can just explode, but I think it's much, much more important for us right now to play the Crackling Drake. Ooh, okay. Okay. Does it gain haste? I can use that to kill Soren here. Hmm. That's probably fine. Alright. Like Going to combat. Alright, so it triggers. Cool. Next to damage. Boom. And then it comes back. This wasn't my fight here. But that's one less devotion, because Kaya's ghost form does provide it some devotion. Then of course as soon as I say that, they'll play some Yep, there's black black. It didn't matter, they got there. Uh-oh. It's okay, it's okay. We have lava coil. Ooh. Uh-oh. Well, we are absolutely on blocking duty here. 1,000% on blocking duty. Boom. I mean, they can't attack anyway, so they might as well. Okay. So, first things first. Field. Lava Coil U. Resolve. Okay. Stop being a creature again, please. Thank you. Alright. I should have played this first. Uh, 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be alright. So I'll take the wine, they'll gain wine. Boom. Alright. And then pass the turn with anticipate at the ready. Alright. Pilfering Imp feels their hand choose a non-land from it, they discard it. Okay. Hmm. Don't like that. Oh, hi. Exile, too. Oh, hi, Niv. We are pretty far from being able to cast you, unfortunately. Um, I can go Mission Briefing Lava Coil to kill it. So, yeah, Mission Briefing Lava Coil would do. Yeah. Okay. Alright, resolve them both. See what I have. Oh, hi, Kefnet. I actually like both of these. I'll actually take the land first, though. Exile you. Nice. And then attack with just the Drake. Let that resolve. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Maybe we're getting somewhere. We should have lethal next turn. I need to cast two more spells. Oh wait. When another creature dies or blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I I don't really care though because flying. Play this first because the life gain totally matters. Totally matters. Um, I could also just explode on them because that's a thing. No context. Absolutely no context. Uh, we'll anticipate first. Resolve all. And actually, we could even just. Ooh. You know, let's troll them a little bit. Troll them just a mite, just a hair, just a touch. And then this requires one in red to deal five. Alright, cool. Do I have your attention now? Okay. Now we go to combat. Swing with both. And should put them at exactly lethal. Alright. And there we go. Okay. Death Mango. Death Mango. As a Hungry Box fan, I appreciate that I just beat someone with the name Mango. Mango's cool too. Alright. So I guess we just cast enough spells. Alright, what we get here? A rare, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, sure. A Vigilance Matters card. I can make that a thing. I can make that work. Alright. I have a plan. I have a plan for that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, stay in the zone. Focus. Yo, Mogwai Gwai Fighty Sao. Tell me if you remember what that's from. Oh! Oh! But we don't have a way to draw our way out. Well, we have Sphinx. Sphinx makes this keepable. Alright. Now we'll wait. Alright. Ulfur. I think I said that in the closest I can get to Hank Hill. All for... Right, yeah, we'll submit. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Well? Hey. Nope. Okay. Now we're in trouble. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. Uh oh. There's a counter. Please, red mana. <laughs> okay. I had Sphinx, though. 21 lands in this deck. I wasn't especially likely to come across one, but come on, one. That's just how it goes. Hi, Fox. Hi, Foxy. Okay, well, I guess I could also get the my opponent left their keyboard for a bit when... That doesn't really count, though. Oh! They do have an accent over it. I wasn't quite sure if that was something on the screen or if that was actually, you know, an accent. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna pass. Oh, I've gotta discard something. Uh, not gonna cast you for a while. Let's see if they're at their keyboard. Try to do that as quickly as possible. In the meantime, how are you? Because I'm feeling better. I feel like I'm starting to shake it off a little bit. Starting to wake up, in other words. <laughs> Maybe I can focus. Keep in the zone. In the meantime, you guys get to watch me stretch for a while. Oh, okay, so uh, check this out real quick. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything, but let me see if I can show the camera. A little higher, a little higher. <laughs> and I can do it both ways. <laughs> can, can't quite reach like my wrist or anything, but you know, just, oh, could you? Yeah, you can see that, that's fine. <laughs> All right, well, I guess they did something, right? Maybe, all right, play that and pass. Alright. Are they there? Hero. Hero. That's a... Hero is a common enough card in EDH that I do appreciate making that joke. I don't even own any copies of Hero, but when someone cast it, Hero! It's fun to say. Oh, come on, opponent. Please be there. Please, this this doesn't count. This doesn't count as a win in my book. Instead of playing to the two, we'll just play to the four wins we usually do. Just to get the get through the hundred coin daily quest. Oh boy. Come on. S'il vous plaît. Well, who knows what they had to take care of, what might have happened. Or their internet just conked out. I mean, I've seen that happen to somebody I know. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll keep playing. That was cool. We'll keep playing. Uh, another rare. Oh, now that I can actually use. Heck yeah. Kervik. Heck yeah. Let's play to two more wins while we're at it. My, my quest was just cast 30 red or blue spells, so we got through there quite a bit ago. That's actually not what made me decide to play Is It for this, but it helps, certainly. That's actually what I ran in the last Singleton event that I did for Amonkhet. I will once again keep a Double Island Sphinx of Foresight hand, <laughs> but this time I have Glimpse and Shimmer to get me out of it, so... <laughs> and Sphinx. What can go wrong? And even if I get another I okay, another island or... Oh, hello. Speaking of another island. Um, I'll do that, actually. I do want to hang on to Kefnat. He's pretty cool. 
So then, island, I'll play Glimpse so I can guarantee the third island. And then we can cash in our Shimmer if we don't find Red Man after that. It's going to look like I'm playing Mono Blue for a sec. Alright. I had it reversed. Island and then Kefnet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, let's find Red Man and kill this thing quickly. I don't usually get called shots like that. That's not how it works for me, but we'll take it, I guess. Oh, that was an instant! That's okay. It's okay. <sighs> it's not... Well, I mean, I guess they could have had, like, a negate or something, but not... Yeah. Okay, so now we'll play Kefnet. Could also do, have done Sphinx since they knew about it, but Kefna is just such a power play. And at this point, the only thing that counters it is like Essence Scatter? Quench? I guess that could be a thing. This deck, a ver previous version of this deck did run Quench, but I guess they could just use Barber for Tempo. That's fine. To be fair, they did spend two mana to deal with a four mana spell for a, bit, for a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Alright, see what we get. Oh, and I could have used Sleep of the Dead. Get a copy of Sleep of the Dead. Alright. Cloudkin Seer. Um, let's just stack these things up. Alright. Sink you. Thank you. Alright, and then even if I take two back, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. Oh, and they can't cast, they can't, uh, get the Brazen Borrower off its adventure, I guess. They can't cast it from exile, because they don't have the second blue mana. That's unfortunate. They found the Seer, too, to draw a card, and they still haven't, and, well, they got another land, at least. Maybe there's a game. I'm wondering what Kennen is here for. Non-land permanents are going to make extra mana, but I haven't seen any of those yet. Okay. Guardian Project. Okay. I mean, this is great in Singleton, actually. That's seriously great. Uh... Sure. Alright. Ooh. Ooh! Put me in, coach. Okay. And then we'll just do this now. Alright. Take it out. And then... Hiya. In before Flame Sweep. Well, th that would work, because this is flying, so they'd get to save their Seer. Flame Sweep is two damage to each creature except for those that you control with flying. Okay, that's not what we're doing though. Hmm. Oh, okay. They're gonna draw a bunch of cards. I mean, I guess that's how you do it. And then see if they found some blue mana at last. They did not. Okay. Well then, I guess we just attack with the team. Uh, decline. Now, we should have just the glimpse. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be fine. I can live with that. Yes. All right. Attack with everybody. If they trade a seer here, that's fine. I can live with that.
What they don't know is that I'm going to be tapping down this caryatid so that they still can't flash anything in. All right. So you get tapped down. So now they won't have the blue mana for Brazen Bar, which can't block anyway, so that's fine, I suppose. Uh, do I control a human? Yes. Do I control a non-human? Yes. Of one mind. Alright. And just for shiggles, I guess, I have Blitz. <laughs> that's a very technical magic term, just for shiggles. Uh, which I guess I kind of want to hold up. Um, yeah, I can do Blitz or Glimpse, either one. So I'll end the turn here. For now. For now. For now. No, I'm just ending the turn. I don't for now about that. Hi, Fire Kitty. Well, good to see you too. Any happier? No? That's okay. I'm seeing this quite a bit in EDH, and obviously it makes sense. Vivian Monsters Advocate. Uh, sure. So, make a reach token. Token with reach. Alright. I call, and Decoria answers. So, end of turn. I'm gonna play Glimpse, see what I get. Make another dude. Let's not. Uh, yeah, they, they, they see it. They see it. Yeah, we got there. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we we made it. We made it, folks. We did it. We did it. All right, cool. Let's do one more. We can get one more win in. We can do this. We can do this. All right. I believe in the me that believes in me. Or however that's supposed to work. I believe in the you that believes in me that da 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 da. I don't know. I believe in the you that believes in yourself. Hello. Okay. Seems a little bit better. A little bit. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. I don't have a uh, crackling drag, so I do kind of want to threaten blast some, but it doesn't matter yet anyway. Let's give them the impression we're more on red. Let's try to. Okay. So, Sahili. Do her, do your thing. Make a bunch of tokens for us, and then pass. A challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. There we go. Sure, go for it. Auto off. Auto off. Okay, you can't see it because of where the camera is, but I'm press. I'm hitting enter back and forth. All right. What you getting? Also, shout outs to anime Narset. Strictly cooler than regular Narset. That's not always true for the, the alternate arts, but I rather like Narset. Okay, Birth. Seems like a good card in what we're doing. Uh, okay. How about... sure. That seems okay. So I get a Servo. We're just gonna try to compound as many of these advantages as we can. Alright, here comes the wall. Somebody built a great and pow- no! Stop. A wall. Somebody built a wall. The birth of Murica. That's okay. Ooh. That's not okay, however. Hmm. Okay, you're four mana. If I play Blast Zone, oh, yeah, we're a ways away from getting Blast Zone up to Archon. 
What can I do? Um, I can try to get them to go somewhere else. <laughs> go over to Ral instead. Which is probably what I ought to do anyway, just to scry. I never back down from the challenge. And I'll be My able to use Pyrohelix. Uh, double Pyrohelix next turn. Alright. Let's see if we can get that to work. Maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Well, that was unpleasant. As long as you don't have any enchantments to play. Because then I am in trouble. Alright. So. Minus. Choose. Okay, cool. Yeah, I get new targets for it. Uh, that's pretty standard. I, I say pretty. That should just be standard. Alright. Submit the one, two to it. Alright, so Ral's triggers are gonna go. There you go. Then put some more on you. Man, is my computer slow or are they decide? Oh, yep, yeah, they should be deciding. Oh, they're looking over the stack, are they? Thinking. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, don't make a token. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to put them all on Archon anyway. Two, hello? Yeah, two on you. Target you. Cool. Firemind's research does not proc on copies, unfortunately. Uh, just because of the way it's worded. It's when you cast. Alright, so that being the case, um, I guess since I've already played a land, I'll attack just to get some sweet, sweet one damage in. And they'll trade with a soldier. No, they're not. Okay. Uh, we'll pass. Make a soldier. Or, no, it's just a human, not a soldier. She has a... Oh, which, which fairy... No, is that a particular fairy tale, or is that just a character? Let's see. The basket makes me think it's like Little Red Riding Hood, but that is very much not red. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. When you cycle it, create da 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 da. Oh, it has flying. Ah, uh, well, rip ral, I guess. Rip ral. Okay. Well, that's that's all right. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Ooh. Hi, Narset. She's pretty cool. She's okay. Just maybe. Hmm. Yep, there he goes. Back to the drawing there board. He goes again. Alright. Uh, oh my god. Okay, well Narset seems really fun now. What are you? Six. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. So we're not getting there. For a, for a hot minute. Hmm. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind. Okay. How do I want to do this? So, whenever you draw a card, they'll draw one for their turn. It'll be four. I'll get to keep Narset. Because they'll do one attack here. No, that's a 3-3, and it flies. So never mind, just do it. Just activate it. We're only going to get one turn out of her anyway. Keep an open mind. Oh, boy. Um, Dragonfire? Okay. Well, then never mind. I done goofed. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. 
do this now. I will be able to fire off five counters here, but all they have to do to negate that is just draw a card. That's it. That's actual factual it. Alright, and then pass. Okay. We can beat this, but we're gonna have to get a lot of mana for Blast Zone. And I mean a lot of mana. Alright. Well, yeah, they don't get to draw a card there. Which is okay. I won't forget our time together. Alright. Well, I say it's okay. It's not, but what can we do about it? So this is one, two, three, four. So one, two, three. We can go up three counters, go to four. We need to get to six. Okay. Let's see if what's on top is going to help me out. Beacon bolts. Ooh. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can use... Oh, no. Well, that's that's not actually going to help, because beacon bolt is sorcery speed. We can't use it to make them whiff a combat step. In general, it's not that bad, but now might not be. It might not be all that great. So we're going to put that on the bottom. And then, I guess we'll hold it up so that we can use Blast Zone effectively. Alright, everybody. Charge! I mean, obvious block is obvious. Make a soldier to block one of the others. I would think, maybe, just maybe, Oh, okay, they're going to make even more. I mean, I guess it works. Okay. Alright, how you want to do this? Double block on Electromancer? Okay. So I can go one, two, three, and then I could put one counter on Blast Zone. And then on the next turn, I can put one, two, three. That puts it up to five. So I can't actually use the chemistry's insight here. Unfortunately. That's unfortunate. Oh, are they not going to... Okay. I mean, it doesn't... They're back at 20. It doesn't really matter, but... That's, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, the only way we're getting out of this is with the Blast Zone, so I just need to keep racking those up. Don't get tempted. No matter what, don't get tempted. Alright. There's another. Oh boy. Oh boy. At Narset, or at Sahili, I mean. Alright. Yeah. I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't even hover the mouse over it. Because that gives them an idea of what I might be looking at. Ooh, Cavalier. Oh, you're at five. Uh destroy up to one non-impermanent. Okay, what's she blowing up? Okay, so if I pop this, then I'll spend two mana, and then I'll have, uh, let's see, one, two counters to put on it. It'll be at three. The next turn I can go one, two, three, put it to six. So it, it does make sense to do it here. Draw a card. Okay. I mean, I guess that that's okay. Alright. One, two. Auto pay. Neat. Going up to three. Alright. So we can use both of these 
to get rid of Cavalier. Vigilance. I think it's much more important for us to hold this up for one, two, three. Mm, significantly. Alright, here goes. Blast zone get there, I guess. At least that's the hope. Alright, pop the omen. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I'm not cashing it in just yet. Alright. I know I can do this. I think I can do this. I might be able to do this. If I can just make it a little bit longer. So they have to attack with the trawler anyway. They can see the writing on the wall, it gains them life, it draws them a card. There's no reason not to. This is a little interesting. I can try to save my removal by, ch by throwing blockers, throwing everybody on this guy. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw actual, factual everyone. Just in case they have a neat little combat trick. Everybody blocks there. Alright, what do they have? Nope, they don't? Okay, cool. Alright. So, oh no, it's Shark Typhoon! Maybe? Yep, it's Shark Typhoon. Good god. Um, very much not worth it. I can use Prophecy anyway. Well, they're gonna plus. They're not gonna minus. They could minus just to draw a card, but... Why? Well, if they plus, they get to keep their Teferi because of the blocker. Okay, I like it. Don't worry, I got this. I'll bet you do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it. You know you want to, just do it. Just cast it. Come on. Man, Dream Trawler is pretty good. Just a little bit. Jeez. Earth is going on over here? Okay, cool. Seeing my phone. Oh, no, you don't. One, two, three. Yep. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm going to fire this off right away, actually. Blow that up. Blow up Dream Trawler, please. Please. <gasps> no! Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. I hate you so much. Alright, winged words. Let's see what we can get. Invade the city does absolutely nothing with Teferi out. Absolutely nothing. You win 0% of the games you can see, but I kind of would like to get four wins in this video, and we're an hour in. Alright. Hmm. And also, that was a sorcery. Thank you, Teferi. Huh. This might be a bad idea. Maybe. Okay, so invade first. It's not huge, it's just a 4 4. And 
we have the mana to go... We can do two of the three. Fire Prophecy, Blitz, and Negate. Alright. Unfortunately, because it's fairy, we can't do them on my opponent's turn. All right. And I, if I throw the chemistry's insight, yeah, I, I should have done that actually, because I can't use negate right now anyway. So I might as well have done that. Chemistry's insight, jump start, pitch negate. Minus on the zombie army, they draw a card. Next turn, fire prophecy, a kill to fairy. Oh, never mind. I've got it. They are not worried. I'm slowly sinking lower and lower into the camera. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I think we're seeing which the more impactful tribe is right now. Well, if I could find a Crackling Drake, it would make absolutely... Well, Crackling Drake versus Teferi is interesting, because we would both draw a card. Give me my creature back, I'll cast it again, gladly. Draw a card again. But, with our life total getting where it is... Oh, it's not great. Oh, there it goes. Oh boy. You, see how they react. Good, good. Hey, that was uncalled for. Oh crap! That doesn't. Oh, it's not fire prophecy that deals it to planeswalkers. Hmm. Okay then. That's the one. That's the one. It's okay, we can make this work. We can still salvage this. Discard Negate. Draw two. And then cast the really, really obvious Dragonfire. Alright. There we go. Please work. Please work. Please work. No! Oh. Okay. Whale. Whale. Oh, we're just dead. Yeah, we're just dead. I can count. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Ay, ay, ay. We can do this, we can do this. I'll get there. Maybe. Stay away, stay away. <laughs> You're wondering how many of those there were? Quite a few. It's like five. Uh oh. Once again, Sphinx in two lands and only one color. Okay, though. That'll work. That'll do it. Hello. I think there's only one one drop in the deck and it's opt. Wait, Terramander. That's right. Terramander as well. There we go. Alright, what do you have going on? Ooh, okay. Oh, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. I should have waited so they wouldn't know what to do, but now they're probably going to pick lifelink. Yep, lifelink, okay. I messed myself up on that one a little bit. It's okay, we, we've managed to top deck away out of it, kind of. Let's 
since it doesn't have death touch. Or they could cast a 7-6 for 3 mana, because that's a thing in standard. Yeah, let's uh, let's dig for a way out of that, please. It doesn't have trample. Kind of would like another land, though. Yeah, with Crackling Drake and Sphinx. But neither one kill. Uh, Sahili stalls. Sahili would stall for time. But given the contents of my hand, no, I need to take the land. Gain one measly life. Woo. Um, I can deal three, but then I'm gonna. They're gonna get two back anyway. I need to hold this back. Alright. I guess the one upside to this is that they're going to be discarding stuff, so unless they care about getting stuff in their yard, maybe it'll work out for us. They're losing cards and I'm gaining them. Oh god. Oh god. That's a 7-6 lifelink now. Ancient vampire lord. Foolish. <laughs> Good god. Well, okay. How do I get out of this? Um, 14. Ral finds something to copy to kill it. No, let's try Narset instead. Either way. Okay. This may not be right. Oh, God. That's that's a thing. We take those. We absolutely take those. Alright, we're passing. So, that's that's not the be-all, end-all by any means, but it's something. I'll take what I can get. It'll slow them down. Okay. Sure. Alright. Please hit Narset. Please. Nope, you're going after me. Okay. Still not gonna block yet. Okay. Here goes. Alright. What do we have? Oh, okay. That's, uh, not ideal. So I don't have the double blue. Which means I can't go Crackling Drake as well. But we can go... Ral... Sleep... Scry? Now, sleep is a sorcery. Sadly, I can't do it on my opponent's turn. If we can stabilize, we should be okay. I can also just use Dragonfire here. Try to kill it and hold up in the gate. That's what I'll do. I am gonna have to block you though. Alright. Well, do I? I can swing at Soren. I can swing at Soren. I'm gonna take a little bit more damage, but that's okay. Alright. Blitz. That's actually getting dangerously close to killing you outright. Alright. Boom. Okay. They probably don't have a whole lot of card draw going on, so this Narset won't do. Okay. Make some make some poor decisions here. Please. Please. Oh. Oh, okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that this might not be the matchup for Nigga. Okay. Maybe they do have some card draw. I must train harder. 
Almost. Not quite, but almost. So, we can go... Okay, that's going to cost me three. So if I do that, let's see, five? Yeah, that plus blitz, that would do it. And I could eat, okay. Yeah, we can make this work. Okay, we can make this work. Let's pass turn. They have nothing to discard, but, oh god. Not you, buddy, not you. Okay, who's swinging in? Okay. Whole bunch of you. Please get exiled. Boom. Okay. So I lose a creature, but... I would say you lose your board. But I need to be careful, because if I wipe their board, they have Croxa next turn. I can't kill that yet. Oh, boy. So maybe I just wait. No, I need two creatures here for blockers. Oh, they... Why are you conceding? That was... That was absolutely premature. I know that Kefnet represents a lot of advantage, but... Eventually, I was going to have to do something about your creatures, one of which gets bigger over time. So, yeah, that was that was premature. To be fair, I have done that before, too, where it just looks looks hopeless, so I, I concede. Okay, so that was the Singleton event. Um, absolutely tons of improvements that could be made to the deck, but this is a not serious... I'm just... I'm not even throwing wild cards into it. It's just whatever. <laughs> It's a whatever deck. Um, alternates are literally anything you want because there's no stakes for losing. Uh, but my favorite guild is Selesnia, and were we doing Historic, that's what I would have played instead. Uh, but I have Crackling Drake, and I want to play Crackling Drake. It's the closest thing we have to Infect in Standard right now, in my opinion. So it, it has like, it has Evasion, it has a built-in huge effect, and it hits you one time and you're dead. Or, or two, maybe. Two times, and you're dead. Alright, and that's it. Uh, Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.